Hey to you, David, and welcome to all as we explore Web on a Prim and how to build it in Second Life. Web on a Prim begins with you clicking on the Build button and pulling down to the Build menu. That will open up the Build pane. As usual, select your type of Prim, bring your wand to the ground, and left click. That places the Prim on the ground in front of you. Now, since this is web on a prim, it's going to have to be much larger. So we hold down shift control and drag the various colored tools to resize our prim to make it look like, oh, let's say today we're going to be looking at a flat screen TV. Okay, good. Now that we've got the basic shape, let's go ahead and make it into a big web page. As you know, web pages are much taller than they are wide. So we're going to simulate a big old web page. Very tall and narrow like a web page. Make sure nothing is below the ground. Okay, good. We've got the basic shape of our prim. Now what we do is to click on the select face radio button and then place our cursor on the prim and select that face. Then we go over and click on the texture tab, the full bright button, and then go all the way down to the bottom of the pane where you see media. Place your cursor on the plus sign and that gives you the ability to add media. When you click on the plus sign, the window opens up and you begin filling out the information you need to put any website on your prim. First thing we're going to do is to type in the URL of the website we're going to be using, which is uh, my website, and I've loaded up all of the pages from your National University classroom that we're going to be reviewing during this chat. And then we have to fill out certain options down here at the bottom. I like the auto zoom option. It allows you to click on the browser button, which you'll see in just a moment, and it automatically squares up the prim and brings you in close to it. Auto play media I also like because it gets students' attention and the students can stop at the media if they need to. And then auto scale is also nice in that it avoids squishing or stretching too much your uh, media. Clicking on OK takes us back and we give the website just a few seconds to come in and there it is the website on a prim let's close our edit pane and then place our cursor back on the prim and as you see we get our browser bar up at the top let's go through those functions navigate back that's to your last page navigate forward home takes you to the original URL that you put into the texture Reload, of course. Volume is nice. Whenever you're talking to a class, you can turn down the volume of the video. There's that Zoom tool we talked about. And then the last one is to open up that URL in an outside browser. Let's click on the Zoom tool. And as you see, everything shapes up and you get right in front of it. You can also use your camera Zoom tool. Holding down the Alt key and dragging your mouse will also help you zoom in to the content on your prim. You can also use your view tools to further fine-tune the settings so that you can see the prim. Now, to go to different websites, all you do is enter in different URLs. That bar up there acts just as a web browser. Here's another URL for another page from our classroom. Hmm, this one has a YouTube video on it. I wonder if that YouTube video will play right off this prim here. Let's click on it and find out. Hi everyone, this is a quick video for your week two skills and activities well, I'll be in darned. Second Life. That video is playing. The first and you can hear it. You and of course you can use any of plan. YouTube's tools to go to full screen and etc. to resize that video however you need it. Let's square up again by clicking the zoom tool and we square right up. 
as your home. You can also browse by using the scroll bar on the right, just as you do any web page. And as you can see, we have three more videos down here at the bottom that we could also play. If you recognize your name, but the media on that prim scrolls just like a web page. Let's put in another URL to look at another page. And again, I'm simply previewing these pages for our class meeting, but you can put any URL in there in the world. Here, now this URL has some hyperlinks. I wonder if those hyperlinks work. Let's zoom in and find out. I'll be doggone. Opened up just like a web browser. And indeed, that's exactly what is happening here. By putting that media texture on this prim, you have installed Second Life's WebKit, which allows this prim, this texture, to function just like any web page. So we can zoom in here and do any further clicking that we wish, as well as scrolling. Okay, let's back out. To go home, we click on the home page, and as you see, it took us right back to the original URL that we put into the browser window. Let's try another URL. This page is a URL of an in-world event. The video that you see here is not a YouTube video. It is a Treat TV video, but just want to demonstrate that any video will play on these pages because this prim, this texture, is acting just like a website. So any embedded video from any web page will also play off this prim here in Second Life. Okay, let's square up again, zoom in, and watch our video. Welcome to this week's episode of the ISTE Edgiverse Talk Series. Click on Home, and it takes us back to the original URL that we put in. Okay, another feature is that you can place a different media texture and have a different website on any face of the prim. So we do the same thing. We click on Edit. We click on Select Face. We select that side of the prim. We go to Texture, Full Bright, and then to Add Media. And this time, let's put in Google. Select Auto Zoom. Click OK and Google will load in. Now, if you're on Google, you know you've got the world. Literally, the online world begins with Google. And so we're able to put in any URL in the Google search engine and use Google here in Second Life as if it were our web browser. In effect, Second Life now becomes another live teleconferencing program where you and your students can meet as if you were in Adobe Connect or any other live teleconferencing program with the added advantage of, and it is a highly significant advantage, of being in a 3D virtual world. So Web on a Prim allows you to have a live teleconferencing program in world with your students. Here's our home university website. Click on any link and tour the National University website as if you were touring any other website. You can also put uh, media on any size prim, any kind of prim you want. For example, let's take a sphere. Let's make it a really big sphere, and let's put the YouTube side on it. Select the face, go to Texture tab, Full Bright, go to the plus sign for Add Media, type in YouTube.com, click on Auto Zoom, click on OK, and YouTube will load on that sphere. And there is YouTube. 
you could design a classroom with spheres all around it so that students could have a 360 degree view of the videos that are playing all around them and 360 surround. Let's orbit, see what video is playing. Well, it's YouTube, so it's a commercial. Let's fast forward through the commercial. You can turn the sphere any way you want. And if you don't like sphere, not a problem. Just go to the Object tab and select a different shape. Let's see, let's try tube, cylinder. That's pretty cool. We'll have to spin it around so we can get things right side up. But this is the kind of thing that your students would really like. Box is probably the easiest to work with, as you can see. Now, one little trick that I do want you to know about is how to make a YouTube video pop up and get rid of all the other chromes and details on a YouTube page, the comments, the related videos, etc., etc. It's very easy to do. You simply type in underscore and the word pop-up after the word watch in any YouTube URL. And again, in any YouTube URL, you simply type after the word watch underscore pop-up and that will turn the video into a single video on a single prim without any of the other YouTube paraphernalia all around it. And now you have the full video.